G'day YouTube, this is just a quick look at the top new features of Linux Mint 19 that's coming out in the next month or so. So this is actually a beta release at the moment, but it's got a few new features that I'd like to show you guys. So let's open things up a little bit here. Now, uh, let's see, starting off, uh, we've got a little bit of a revamped uh, Linux Mint welcome screen here. So we can see Linux Mint 19, 64 bit edition, that's all fine, that's good. Doesn't look too fantastic yet, but if I roll it up here and go to first steps, documentation, we can launch all sorts sorts of things, uh, installation of media codecs, update managers, software managers, all sorts of things. So that's really cool, just simplifies things for the for the newbies I suppose out there, so I like that a little bit there. Uh, moving on, let's see what else we have. So, um, so not one that I can really show you, but they're saying there was, uh, they noticed a few hiccups uh, with the performance with the Cinnamon uh, desktop environment, which is the one that we can see here, of course, the default desktop environment. So they've uh, done a few tweaks in the back end to improve that, which is really good to see as well. Uh, moving on, uh, we have the volume control, the volume rocker of sorts. It can actually go up to 150% now. So we can see that flicked up with 100% a moment ago, but if I load into the options, Boom, fantastic. The louder the better, right? Maybe it will distort a bit, but it's great for, you know, low sounding audio uh, online, that kind of thing as well. Uh, let's see, uh, improvements with the uh, Cinnamon 3.8, a few little ones here and there, nothing that I'm going to get into too much. It's just the standard desktop environment. Uh, let's see, what else we have is the, the, the window manager, or, or the file manager really, and uh, it's currently rocking uh, the Nemo 3.6.5. It looks pretty standard, there's not a great deal of change there that I can see that I'd really want to go into anyway. Uh, what else do we have? Probably last but not least is the kernel. So. The kernel is being upgraded. Currently, we've got 4.15 on uh, Linux Mint 19. Now, this isn't the final release. I believe it could jump up to 4.16, which is actually what Ubuntu already has uh, coming through. But um, it's yeah, it's it's all in the pipeline. We do need to wait and see. I do have a, another video on how to upgrade to Linux Mint 19. However, again, I've got disclaimers on that video left, right, and center because uh, it is a little bit unstable, and I wouldn't use it as your main daily driver for an operating system just yet. But uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Super quick video on uh, some of the top new features in Linux Mint 19. So cheers, guys. Hope you've enjoyed.